Hey, what's up? Operation Hydroid here, and this is my PSX for All request series where I show you how to get specific games on PSX for All. These games are taken by request, so if you would like to request a video, leave it in the comment section below. And today's episode is Get Metal Gear Solid on PSX for All. Okay, so to get this to work, we're going to need three things. The first one being PSX for all, the actual PlayStation 1 emulator, and the application that we're going to use to play the game. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the left or a link in the description. We'll also need iFile, file browsing system, which we'll use to put the game in the right place. If you do not have that, there will be an annotation on the right and a link in the description. And lastly, we'll need Safari Download Enabler, and to get that, you'll have to go into Cydia, and then into the Search tab and search Safari Download Enabler. It's the first tweak. It's completely free, so go ahead and install that. The actual game, we're going to have to go into Safari. So go ahead and open your Safari, the iPhone's native browser, iPhone or basically any iDevice. And when it loads, we're going to type in the URL coolrom.com. So go see double o l r o m dot com and now you'll notice that when you load coolrom dot com it will automatically send you to the mobile website and that's completely fine because their mobile website is really easy to use and to be honest i like it better than their regular website so as you can see when you load the website there's four different ways i mean three different ways to search for roms there's rom search emulators and rom files but in this episode, we're going to be searching through ROM files. So now what this does is by clicking ROM files, it will list all the systems that they have ROMs under. So when we scroll down, we're going to be looking for Sony PlayStation because that is the system that we want to get games on. So go ahead and click Sony PlayStation. And now what this will take us to is their massive directory of all Sony PlayStation ROMs. And let me tell you that they have a lot. And they have them very well organized as well. So as you can see, they have top 25 downloaded, top 25 rated, and browse by letter. So we're going to go ahead and click top 25 download because Metal Gear Solid is a pretty popular game. Even though I'm not very sure if it's going to be here, but it's a possibility. And wow, I was wrong. So as you can see, this is one way of searching for games. And another one is browsing by letter. So I'm going to scroll down to the M for Metal. And when that loads, it will load all the ROMs that they have under the M directory. So let's see what they have here. And again, they have a ton of ROMs. So let's scroll down. And sometimes it's website can be a little laggy but definitely worth it because most of the ROMs on this website do indeed work so here we go Metal Gear Solid we're gonna get disc 1 and when we click on Metal Gear Solid disc 1 it's going to load its actual page where it displays two screenshots of the game the file size the file name of course, the system that it's located under, how many times it's been downloaded, its rating, and sometimes it'll have a little video of the game, but I doubt that this one will have one. Anyways, when we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there is a download now link. So we're going to head, go ahead and click on that. So what clicking on download now does is that it initiates the download. So we're going to click on that. And you will know that your download has started when at the top the URL has now changed to a megabyte over the amount of megabytes to be downloaded so as you can see here it's taking the pace of the download so you'll know the download has started because of that and the only way that you'll have this is if you get Safari download enabler as I told you earlier in this video so I really recommend that you do that anyways 
This download should not take too long and I'll be back when it's done. Now, when the download is complete, you should have a screen like this. Now from here, we're gonna click on the open in option and then on the finder option. Now, you only have the finder option if you got Safari download enabler. Anyways, when you open the finder option, you should be in var mobile. If not, then go as far back as you can by clicking in the upper, upper left and then when you can't go back anymore and it says var mobile here, then you're at var mobile. So from here, we're going to click on the media tab, scroll down, click on the ROMs tab, and then the PSX folder. And from here, we're going to click save on the top right. Now from here, we can go home. And from the home screen, we're going to open iFile, as I told you to download earlier. And from here, you should be at VAR Mobile. If not, then click on the little house, and you will be at VAR Mobile. Now from here, we're going to click on the media folder then the ROMs folder, PSX folder, and then scroll down to try to find the Metal Gear Solid .7z file. And as you can see, I have Metal Gear Solid Disk 1 version 1.0.7z. And what we're going to do with this file is click on it. And then we're going to click on the Unarchiver option. Now what this does is that it extracts the files that are within the .7z file. So essentially the .7z file has three files within it and we want to take those out and place them in the PSX folder so that is what we're doing right now and this should take two to five minutes and I'll be back when that is done okay so when the on archiving is done you will know because it says everything is okay and finish with result code zero so this is how you will know that everything went well and then you are now allowed to click done at the top right and now you will see that we have a Metal Gear Solid Disk 1 version 1.0.bin file and a Metal Gear Solid Disk 1 version 1.0.q file. So now we can go home and test this game out. But first we must check in the multitasking bar if PSX for All is open. By doing that just double click the home button, hold down PSX for All if it is there and click the red minus. If it is not there then it's fine just open it and once you're done killing it go ahead and open PSX for All again. Now, when PSX for all loads, you'll see that Metal Gear Solid is now here. So here I have my Metal Gear Solid Disk 1 version 1.0 bin file. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Click Portrait of No Sound. You guys can play in any setting that you would like. And then the game will load. Now, before the game starts, you'll always see the Sony boot logo. And after the Sony boot logo, the PSX boot logo will load. And Metal Gear Solid runs pretty smooth on my iPhone 3GS. If you're running on an iPhone 4, then it runs almost at 100%. Now, if you guys are watching this now, it may not look as if it's running decently or 90%, however you want to look at it, but that is because I'm recording my screen so you guys can see how this works and how the game looks when it's playing. Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, I have a couple of videos here that you might want to see. Just click on the one that you would like to see. Anyways, to see more PSX requests videos and other cool videos like the ones on the screen, click on that green subscribe button.